Hi, in this session, I'm going to go over how to calculate the compounded annual growth rate, or CAGR. Now, according to Investopedia, the CAGR is a year-over-year -year growth rate of an investment over a specific period of time. So it's not really an actual return, it's, it's, and it's not really an accounting term, it's more of a, a business term. So it's an imaginary number that kind of describes the rate which an investment would have grown if it was a steady rate. So if you notice that we had a, a chart here. Now, like in any investment, it doesn't really grow over uh, a steady rate during time for the most part. Sometimes you have some up years, sometimes you have some down years. And what the CAGR, the Compounded Annual Growth Rate, does is it kind of smooths out your returns. So it gives you this uh, imaginary type of year-over-year uh, -year rate that you would get from point from the start of the investment to term to the end of the investment term. And it's a good way for you to kind of do some comparisons between different investments, say a stock A versus stock B, or stock versus real estate. And the formula to determine the compounded annual growth rate is actually here. Right? It's your end value over your start value um, to the power of 1 over the amount of years that you are looking at minus 1. So let's see our example. Let me go ahead and just copy the formula from this sheet and bring it over here. Let's bring it down over here so we can see it a little better later on. Now in this table, I've got stock prices uh, for Google and Apple from year 2005 to 2012. These are probably some high stock prices. These are probably some high stock prices uh, during that time period for one of those one of the months in in here in our example. And let's say we want to find out the CAGR of Google and the CAGR of Apple. Well, basically what we're going to do is use this formula here. So that's going to be equal to the end value, which is this value divided by the start value, which is this value. And I'm going to put that in parentheses. And we want to have it to the exponent of 1 over the, over the years. So we're going to have it. The exponent is, we can use this, this caret key to denote that exponent. And it's going to be 1, I'm going to put it in parentheses, 1 divided by, let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight values here, but really it's just seven years. 2000, 2005 to 2006 is one year, 6 to 7, another year. So that is our seven years, right? Oops, didn't mean to select that. So I'm going to put 7 here. And then minus 1. So there we have our CAGR, or compounded annual, compounded annual growth rate. Now to figure out for Apple, we'll do the same thing. But since I have this relative to the cell B4 to B14 to B17, I can just move this fill handle over here. And since these are relative cell references B14 to B7, when I copied it over, it copied over C14 to C7, which is C14 here and C7 is here. So we can see that Apple is actually has a higher uh, CAGR than Google. So that's where we can do it manually by figuring out the, the end value and the start value and then the number of years to put into our e equation here. Now there's another way you can do it. Now there is no function in Excel that lets you create a CAGR uh, that represents the CAGR formula, but that doesn't stop you from creating your own function. You just have to know a little bit about VBA. Uh, so what we're going to do is you, you we're going to go into the Developer tab. And if you don't have this Developer tab, you can actually go to File Options and go to Customize Ribbon. And here, you're going to see the Developer tab, Developer Selection here. If you don't have that checked, just check it off and you're going to get this developer tab and this is in Excel 2010. So when we go into the developer tab we're going to go into the code group and click on the visual basic command icon here and what we're going to do is we're going to insert another module. So we're going to insert module and we're going to create a CAGR function. 
So after we insert the module, we're going to put together our function. So it's going to be function, and the name of the function, we're going to just call it CAGR, parentheses, and these are going to be our arguments. Start value, all one word, and let's do end value, and then years. Close parentheses, press enter, and you see how it closed the function for us. And in here, we're just going to put the formula. So we're going to put the formula uh, CAGR equals the end value, end value, whoops, end value divided by start value. And we're going to to the power of 1 divided by years, and then minus 1. So then we're going to go ahead and save that, and then we can just exit. And now, if you notice that we type, if we go in here and type the equal CAGR, you'll notice that now it's created. I'm just going to go and double click that. Oops and then maybe just bring up the insert function menu and now you can see that our the values, the arguments that we typed in show up there. So our start value, we can just now go ahead and select it. Start value is 642.6 or oops, our start, start value is here and then our end value is here and then our years we're gonna say that's 7. Go ahead and click OK and now we have 10.58 percent. Same here, CAGR C-A-G-R, and I can just tab it to complete it to open up that parentheses, and I already know what my my arguments are. I'm going to do the start value, which is here, comma, end value, here, comma, seven years, close parentheses, press enter, and there, there I have my values. So there's another way of calculating C-A-G-R, is actually creating your own worksheet function. Now, just one little note is that you need to have uh, this Excel worksheet be a macro enabled worksheet. So if I, if I press F12 and save it, I want to make sure that I have an Excel macro. I save it as a macro enabled worksheet. Otherwise, I'm not able to run that macro or run any macro. So just remember that. So there you go. There's two ways we can go about calculating our compounded annual growth rate or, or our CAGR. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.